What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV, and today I am joined by Colton. It's good to be here. Absolutely. And we are going to be talking about 10 things you need to know before lifting your new Bronco. Whoa, so, whoa, whoa. 10 things you need to know about lifting any vehicle. Make okay. or model, doesn't matter. Okay, well that, that's a good point. So I want to stay focused on Bronco. He wants to talk about other makes and models as well because TC Customs does do all makes and all models for custom work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Before we go any further in the video, I want to say a huge thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Did you know that two out of three guys are going to have some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? Now the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. You don't have to go broke to avoid going bald. Keeps makes it very simple because they'll automatically ship you your medication every three months and that means no more pharmacy lines or awkward doctor visits. Keeps treatments can take four to six months or more to see results so it's important that you act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss go to keeps.com slash town and country or just click on the link down in the description to get 50% off your very first order. That's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash town and country and a huge thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. What are you doing? Just enjoying my hair while I have it. <laughs> the very first thing you need to do is to know your truck as far as like the Bronco is concerned. What trim level? What suspension do you have? How is your vehicle equipped? A little bit more information on that? Yeah, you know, some vehicles, uh, you know, a specific thing that people don't think about is like two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Th those are big uh, indicators on which lift kit you do get. Some vehicles come with air rod. Some have like adaptive uh, dampening and stuff like that. Those are things you really need to let your, uh, the person you're buying from know that, that way that they can get you the correct product. And keep in mind, like on the Bronco, because once again, I, I wanted to talk about Bronco and Bronco. he's talking about other makes and models, <laughs> uh, but keep in mind that like the zone off-road, the two inch lift kit, it does work on like the base and um, the, the big bend, and it works on a couple of different base model suspension, but if it's got that high performance off-road stability suspension, basically if it's a Sasquatch or if it's a Badlands, it, not all lift kits work for all of those different suspensions. Exactly. So it's very important to know and to read those details. Whether you buy your lift kit on tccustoms.com or somewhere else, we don't care, but make sure you read the fine details because that will tell you whether it will or will not fit on your vehicle. Another big thing to know is your look. And can you explain what we, we mean when we say your look? Well, yeah, are you looking for the mall crawler or are you looking for something that looks like it can go off-road? Um, meaning, do you want something that has got a whole lot of poke where the tires are sticking way outside the fender yeah. and throwing mud every time you get on a dirt road or, you know, in a mudding situation? So the look is very, very different, whether you want one of those tall show trucks or yeah. you want something that looks like it can go anywhere off-road. Yeah, so it's always good to know your goal. That way you know what size lift and stuff like that you're looking for to be able to compensate for those wheel and tire combos that you may be wanting. Next up, you need to know what in the world you're going to be using the truck for. So I talked a little bit about it in that last segment. But if you're going to be purely off-roading in this vehicle, it is just nothing but a trail rig uh, on the weekends only, then you might want to do a different type of a suspension versus something that you need to drive every single day. Yeah, exactly. You know, if, you, if you're going to be going off-road with it, we would probably recommend doing like a full coilover setup. If you're going to be, you know, towing heavy stuff with it, we wouldn't recommend doing a six to eight inch lift because that just doesn't make any sense when you're trying to tow something and having a truck that high. So you really need to know what you're going to do with the truck to kind of convey what lift and what options you want as well. So another great thing to know is know your height limitations. And I'm gonna let Mitchell kind of elaborate on that since he's out here driving this big lifted Raptor out here. <laughs> I like it, um, I love it, but uh, that sounded like a country song, didn't it? The thing about driving a lifted truck is you gotta realize that it doesn't fit everywhere. So as he mentioned to you just a second ago, I've got a 2017 Raptor uh, that I'm gonna be trading in for uh, the Bronco very, very soon. So make sure you are staying subscribed um, to the channel for that. Um, but I do have to tell you though that when I went to the doctor in downtown Birmingham, guess what? You can't fit in the parking deck and I have to go take my wife's expedition instead. So you just have to realize that dude, if, if you are, if you work at a doctor's office and you have to get in and out of that, um, that parking garage every day, you might not need to do the six inch lift kit because you're not gonna fit. Yep. You might wanna go with something a little bit smaller. So just know how much you um, uh, can afford to lift your vehicle. Now we made a dedicated video on it. I'll link it up here in the cards for you guys but it actually is a good way for you to estimate how much taller your vehicle is going to be after you lift it. And I'll give you the quick 10, 20 second synopsis on that. If you do a four inch lift kit, it literally brings the vehicle up four inches, okay? 
four inch lift kit. Then if you have a tire that is two inches taller than what it was stock, all you have to do is, keep in mind, if the tire overall diameter is two inches taller, you got one inch above the axle, one inch below the axle. So meaning you take your four inch lift kit plus the one inch that raises the, from the tire, that means your truck's gonna be five inches taller than what that vehicle was stock. So it's just kind of a real rough and dirty way of trying to calculate how tall your truck's gonna be after you get done lifting it. Yeah, so if you have like a smaller garage door or something like that, probably a good idea to go ahead and measure Measure that and then measure how tall your truck is at the highest point and maybe use that formula like he said to figure out if it's going to be able to fit or not. Absolutely. All right, so next up, let's talk about know your seller and you need to know who's going to be doing the install. Now, Colton has no idea I'm fixing to do this, but thanks to Keeps for sponsoring the video, we're going to give one of you guys a $1,000 gift card to tccustoms.com. Awesome. So huge thanks for Keeps for allowing and making sure that that actually is possible. Now, here's how you're going to win. Uh, you need to like the video, you need to make sure you're subscribed and you need to comment down below. That's how we're going, we're going to pick one of you guys that has done all three in this particular video. And we're going to one week's time, I, I tell you what, two weeks time after this video goes live, uh, we're going to select one of those winners. So once again, like, subscribe, comment down below, and we're going to pick one of you guys for a thousand dollar gift card. You can use that towards a BDS lift kit because that's what we sell on our website. That's right. Roush coilovers for, that's, right. that's another big seller. Or if you just want a MagnaFlow uh, black tip exhaust, the, the, the the black, what do they call it? The, the um, private label. Private label. Private yeah. label black tip exhaust. Um, we've got a lot of different options there for you. Uh, so make sure that you do that to enter in that uh, giveaway. So talk to us more about the um, who you're buying the kit from, who you're going to get to install the kit. Yeah. So first of all, thank you, Keeps. I was unaware <laughs> of that. He definitely threw that on me. Um, He's like, is that coming out of my paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to know your seller and your installer. You don't want to go to some guy down the street because he says he can get it for you. You know, if he's not reputable, he may not know what to get you and you'll get the wrong thing and you'll pay for a product that doesn't work. Um, you definitely need to know your installer. They need to have a background uh, in installing these products. Uh, you don't want somebody who says, oh, this is my first time, but I, I sure can go at it. Because some of these are very intense um, installs that require some modifications that can't be fixed once they're done. Um, so definitely know your seller and your installer. You, you need to know that they're reputable. You need to know they know what they're talking about. You need to know that they know what they're doing. You mean you don't want Daryl and his other brother Daryl cutting on your truck? I don't want Daryl and Daryl Incorporated <laughs> cutting on my truck. <laughs> it, it, there's a lot of great installers across the United States. Um, we're not the only good shop. We are a fantastic shop. Yeah. And I've got all the trust in the world for those guys that run our TC Custom Shop. Uh, but we're not the only somebody that does a great job. Now, we would love for you to buy the kits and, because we keep most of them in stock. For we the do. BDS. Yes, sir. Um, it, which is a rare thing right now because I know that if you order like a coilover kit from BDS, it's like, what, a 28-week back order? or something yeah, like that. that some is. crazy. Um, so make sure you check out tccustoms.com if you want to go ahead and purchase you a lift kit there. All right, let's jump into the next one. Yeah, so another big thing is, is to know your product choice. Um, you, you need to know what you're choosing and why you're choosing as well, not only just trusting your, your seller, as I just, you know, we kind of hit on a second ago, but you need to know it yourself. Do your own research. Yeah. Uh, get some uh, testimonials from people. Uh, you know, find pictures and stuff. You know, some lift kits say six inches and they only do five and a half. Some say six, they do seven. Um, it's definitely good to know your product and, and know what the company's about and stuff like that. That's a very good point because there's also different vendors out there or different mm -hmm. brands of lift kits. So yep. uh, Rough Country, they make good products. So I don't have any quorums with them at all, but they're known to be a little bit on the less, the more budget focused yeah. side. BDS is known to be on the little overly engineered side. <laughs> That's for uh, sure. <laughs> um, and, and you know, there's a lot of different companies out there that make a lot of different lift kits. Um, and kind of tying this back into the Bronco for a second, um, I'll kind of stop and give you guys a couple of the rumors. I don't have any insider trader information. Uh, all of the stuff I'm fixing to tell you about what's available and what's not available on the new Bronco and what's coming down the pipe is all uh, available if you dig enough on the, the forums. Yeah. Uh, so what I've noticed, obviously we've got the zone leveling kit. It's already mm -hmm. available on the website and I think they're shipping already. Um, the two inch lift kit for the Bronco, it's already available, but I think it's shipping in late August if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, you've got some things like four wheel parts. They actually make a coilover setup that is already available today. I think they're on some catastrophic back orders as well, but oh, yeah. it's already available. It's a three inch lift kit. So you've got a zone level, you've got the two inch zone lift, you've got four wheel parts has got a coilover kit that's three inches and that actually, I think they say clears 37s. 
Um, and then on top of that, BDS is already in the works for a couple of different lift kits. They have said it on their own YouTube channel that they're already working on a four inch and a six inch lift kit. Now, my thought process there is if you can fit 37s on a three inch kit, what in the world can you fit on a six inch kit? I have 40s easy. <laughs> Touching on products, so I do know that Rough Country actually just released a two inch lift kit for the That's Bronco right. as well, um, and they're available on our website also. Oh, um, they are? I didn't realize that. Yeah, so, so we'll be able to get, get you those as well. I didn't, uh, that $1,000 uh, uh, gift card we'll, could go, we'll go a long way. Yeah. Absolutely. So, once again, make sure you comment down below. So, the next thing is going to be one of the most important things because it can actually cause you some physical harm if you don't listen to what I'm thinking to say. And that is going to be knowing what you do after you lift the vehicle. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we have a pretty good um, procedure on how we handle our, our lift kits after the fact. Um, we always have customers come in. Uh, after install 500 to 1,000 miles later. We just want to go back and retorque check everything. That's, that's for your safety, our safety, you know, peace of mind, all that. You know, some companies don't do that, and that kind of goes back to know your seller, installer. Um, that's, that's a big deal that we do with ours. Uh, not only that, depending on which lift kit it is, we also uh, weigh all the vehicles. You know, it's something that's after the fact. Um, but it's definitely mm. a good thing to note that, know that there needs to be a procedure there after it. You know, you don't want to just get your lift kit and then drive away and then never have it checked, never have it looked at. You know, maybe something was loose the whole time and they never knew it because it wasn't going back through. Absolutely. I've, I've had plenty enough customers come through. They said, man, I got this lift on my truck and every time I turn the steering wheel, I hear this popping in the front end. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, hey, how did the, the suspension retort go? What? What do you mean? <laughs> like we pay. We, if, so if you come to our dealership, uh, TC Customs, and have it uh, buy the lift kit and have it installed here, we pay for life to have you uh, have that thing retorqued the first time, and then the visual inspections every time thereafter. Uh, but if you don't tighten that thing down after the first 500 miles, the fasteners are going to want to back mm -hmm. up. Um, and it may not be a, like a life and death situation, yeah. but it's definitely a good idea to make sure that everything stays at that factory torque system. Exactly. Yep. And every lift kit manufacturer has different recommendations. You know, BDS might recommend after 500 miles, get it done. Rough Country might say after a thousand miles, get it done. Yep. But just make sure that you look at the instruction manual and it will, it will give you those guidelines that you need to know. Another great thing to know is your warranty. Um, mm. what, what do I mean by that, Mitchell? It, it, is uh is putting the lift kit on my truck is gonna break my warranty i, I get that question all the time all and i the see time. it and because i'm in all these f-150 groups and these bronco groups and you know there is a uh, unfortunately there's a lot of dealers out there that are incompetent and don't understand lift kits mm -hmm. but thanks to companies like bds lift kits they have what they call their no fine print warranty uh, where they basically say that no matter what, if the vehicle is still under that uh, factory bumper to bumper warranty or even the powertrain warranty and Ford or Chevrolet or whoever denies the warranty claim because of the lift kit, BDS has a team of lawyers that'll go back in, swoop in and either get it covered uh, under that manufacturer's warranty or BDS will take care of the issue. Uh, right. which that extra peace of mind really goes a long way. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of people don't know that. I get calls all the time. You know, my dealership's telling me that they're not going to cover this because of this. Well, that's just because they don't know it. And if, if they don't know it, maybe you don't know it. So that, that's a big thing is make sure you go back and re read your warranty to know your warranty to make sure you're Absolutely. getting that warranty and you're getting what that warranty is supposed to give you so you're not putting a hole with, oh, well, your, your diff went out and they're claiming it's the lift kit's fault. So Absolutely. definitely know that. And, and keep in mind, guys, that if you buy a lift kit from us on our website, um, all you have to do is go back to the BDS website. There's a link on there where you just register. You just fill out a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. I think you upload one document where it shows the repair order where you had someone install it. That's right. Um, and boom, you've automatically got coverage for, on the Fords, five years, 60,000 miles powertrain warranty. Mm -hmm. uh, it's awesome. The next thing you need to know before purchasing your lift kit is going to be knowing whether or not it is a permanent modification. What do we mean by that? What we mean by that is there are some kits that call that uh, require you to actually take a piece of your subframe out on the front so that you can put a new uh, drop uh, cross member in so that you can drop your diff and all your steering stuff. Um, some kits do it, some kits don't, but that's definitely a big thing to know before you go purchase your lift kit, go to get it put on. You know, they tell you, well, you got to cut your frame. You don't know that. Or your frame gets cut years down the road. You say, I'm going to take it back to stock to sell it. And you can't because there's a big <laughs> hole sitting there where you had to put that new drop subframe or drop bracket. Sorry. Can you give us an example of a lift kit that does not require the permanent modification? 
Well, most uh, level kits don't. You know, the Rouse Coolover kit doesn't. And also, like an SST kit from, from ReadyLift, they do a good job of, of getting you some upper control arms that normally help all that uh, geometry out so you don't actually have to cut your frame and make it, you know, a, a permanent modification. Okay. And then what is one of the biggest lift kits that does require permanent modification? A BDS 4-inch lift kit, BDS 6-inch lift kit, uh, Ready Lifts, big lift kits, they all require it. Um, it's not as um, prevalent in like solid axle front end or solid axle front end trucks. Um, normally there's not a lot of modification frame-wise for that, but you do have to replace, you know, uh, certain arms and things like that. Okay, fantastic. Moving on to the next one. All right, another big thing to know is to know your fuel economy. Uh, <laughs> Mitch, I'll let you dive into that since you do drive a, a lifted truck Absolutely. on some big tires. I get 14 smiles per gallon. That's right, 14 <laughs> smiles It is per gallon. not about fuel efficiency. Guys, if you're interested in going bigger, don't expect there to be uh, the exact same fuel economy. I've mm -hmm. seen multiple times before where the customer comes in, they want to even do just a leveling kit. Yep. When you go with a bigger or a wider tire, um, guys, you have increased your rolling resistance, mm -hmm. which means the truck has to work harder to continue itself down the interstate. Right. So although I haven't um, really put a pen to paper and done a scientific study, um, there's a couple reasons for that. One is everybody drives differently. Yep. Not everybody drives the speed limit. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm just kidding. It's, everybody drives a little bit different. So everybody's fuel economy difference is going to be a little bit different. But just know that you are going to have some effect of fuel economy on your vehicle. But then again, if you're really concerned about fuel economy, you don't need to be buying a Bronco or an F-150. You need to be it's buying true. a Prius. Did Whoa. I say that out loud? That's rough. Oh, no. Power Boost F-150. There Same we go, boost. Power Boost. There <laughs> we go. There you we need go. need to buy the hybrid version of the F-150 linked up in the cards right there if you want to see the video we made dissecting that specific motor. All right, and I guess that um, leaves us to the bonus round. Bonus what you got there? You need to know how to enjoy your truck. Um, you know, if you do all these steps and take all these precautions and do these things correctly and do your research, you can enjoy your truck. And that's what all this is kind of for, is to make sure you, you get to enjoy that thing. You know, take it to the beach, take it to shows, take it off-roading. You need to make sure that you've made, you know, a proper purchase and, and made sure that you're confident in what you've got. That way you can just enjoy that thing doing what you want to with it. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that I love about what I do for a living is because, and I'm sure he's probably the same way, but I'm speaking from my heart right now, is that it is so much fun to have someone come up in a stock F-150 that they like, mm -hmm. And then when they see it for that first time, and they, you literally can see their entire mood has changed. They, the, the appreciation for the truck has changed. Now they're not driving something that everyone else under the sun has. They're driving something that is special to them. And guys, I, I'm, I'm a truck lover. Yes, I work here. I, I realize that, but I probably would do this for free if they didn't pay me. So anyways, guys, I hope you appreciate it and liked this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you like the video, comment down below, and you are subscribed to enter to win that $1,000 gift card to tccustoms.com. As you guys know, we've got a lot of parts, over 30,000 parts available on tccustoms.com, so feel free to check that out. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.